And welcome to another exciting episode of Kentucky Brew Review. I'm Still Reserve. Special K. And I'm Radar. And tonight we have an awesome beer. We have Sierra Nevada's Tropical Torpedo uh, IPA. It, uh, oh, it's a Tropical Torpedo Tropical IPA. It's got tropical in the, in the title twice It's got to have mango in it. I'm going to uh, call it now. Mango. It's six. It's 6.7% 6 alcohol by volume, and it says passion fruit on the back. That's the tropicalest thing they have in the U.S. is mango. It says passion fruit. Oh, is it? I don't, so it I, says in the back. I don't know. I think the tropicalist thing we have is, is mango. So 6.7% alcohol by volume. Oranges are technically tropical, kind of, sort of. California doesn't count as tropical. California counts as... As a retirement home for everyone old. Are you guys excited for this beer? Do you, I am uh, incredibly you excited for this. Do you beers. mean Florida? Not California? Did I say no? Yes, I meant to say Florida. That place that that place that's really thin and hangs off the bottom of the country. We've been reviewing shit beers all night, so. Oh, I'm so glad to have a real beer. Just. I'm gonna try not to let that influence my score. But really, we've done like five terrible beers, and then this one. Uh, now we've also done the watermelon. Watermelon. Yeah, yeah that wasn't really. That was beer, that though. was actually pretty good. The malt liquor, though. Uh, uh, very it tastes like beer. Yeah. Very carbonated. Very uh, heavy carbonation. Head is slightly off white. Kind of. It's got so some cool. particulate in there. Uh, it's got some flaky particulate. Uh, it says uh, Looks like lush aroma impressed. with mango, papaya, and passion fruit. I can I can smell the papaya. Mango, papaya, and passion. I get I get a, yeah I get a little mango, and papaya. I don't really know. I've only had passion fruit a couple times. So I don't gonna, think I've but, ever had papaya, but I do smell the mango. Uh, um, it smells good. It really does. Man. And torpedo IPA is delicious. We all know that. So I want, some, I want some mango now. I'm gonna guess that strangely sweet scent is the papaya. Is that what papaya smells like? That's interesting. Mm. The tropical fruit flavor is kind of subtle. Oh, thank God. It's a normal beer. <laughs> um, so it's nice and hoppy up front, a little floralness. Um, then you get a touch of mango. I get mango. I get a little papaya. I don't really get any, well, kind of on the aftertaste, I get some passion fruit. And then finish it up with a kind of a bitter malty finish kind of combo. It's it's good. It's really good. Oh yeah. Um, I like how the flavors are subtle and not overpowering. Um, but the thing is, if they're going to put tropical so large on there, like I would expect it to be a little more prominent. In I the mean, flavor. It's it not, doesn't bother me. It's not grapefruit or oranges. Mm -hmm. It's definitely mango, and what I assume is papaya. Now papaya. I need to buy a papaya and, and eat it and find out what that really tastes like just to make sure. Didn't Bob buy one of those on our trip? I think he did, yes. Yeah, I didn't have any of it. It was, it was, it looked weird. It did have those little weird seeds in it. Uh, I wasn't, yeah, you I gotta, wasn't, you gotta those out. I wasn't interested. You, I, I thought you ate those. Well, that's, a kind of, that's a, that's a pomegranate. Oh yeah. He also got a pomegranate. He did. Pomegranates are delicious. Anyways. <laughs> Uh, look, this is... It just tastes like a torpedo IPA with some mango juice in it. With a little bit of fruit. In it. I was yeah. about to say, this is a torpedo IPA. So, torpedo IPA is delicious. Um, it's got, it, when it says tropical, it's very light. Like, so it's very light on those flavors. Um, it's still really good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give this a 7.5. Um, six pack of this is 10.99, so it's a little on the pricey side. Mm -hmm. But I think it's deserving of a 7.5. Um, so it's good, going towards a great range. I got this in a sampler six for um, nine ninety nine, so it's like you know dollar eighty something a bottle. But uh, pretty solid, pretty solid. What do you think, Radar? I'd give this a seven. Like, I think I, I think I prefer regular torpedo over this. Like, it's not bad at all. I really enjoy it, but if it comes between, if I'm standing in front of a shelf and there's this stuff and regular torpedo IPA. And you've had both of them. Cause and I've had both of them now. And I'm thinking, ooh, which do I want to have this weekend slash this week? Give me just the regular torpedo It'll IPA. It'll be cheaper. Would it be cheaper? Torpedo's probably right Oh, cheaper. yeah, it is. Also, it's available uh, in cans. Torpedo is a 788 uh, 12-pack or 6-pack. What about the hell? 8, 8 9, 9, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty solid. What do you think, Steel? I'm going to go ahead and give this a 7.5. It's solid, you know, and like you guys said, it's, it's a torpedo. 
with that uh, mango, papaya, and passion fruit. Not bad, but at the end of the day, yeah, like Raider, I'd go with Torpedo. Mm -hmm. All right, well, don't forget to hit that like button. I'm Special K. Steel Reserve. And I'm Radar. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.